Arizona Sunshine 2. As 2 is not a game character like the original, but it's still a good game. If you're accepting a next gen sequel, as described on the store page, you will probably be disappointed. However, if you are okay with a modest update to the original experience with more polish and a better story, then you will be very happy. The best thing about Arizona Sunshine 2 is definitely your dog companion, Buddy. Buddy shows up early in the game and you guys go from being strangers to developing a very close bond. Buddy gives you a reason to care, not just narratively speaking, but also you as a gamer. You can pet Buddy, you can play fetch and you will have each other's back. Things aren't so lonely anymore in the end of the world. By focusing on this relationship, the story has always high stakes and tension. The videos are excellent, the writing is humorous and there are several stressful situations that you will find yourself in. There is a lot of gore, lots of head being ripped off, limbs being blown off. The game doesn't take itself very seriously, but there are several heartfelt moments. Weapons are generally very satisfying to use. It's fun to burn zombies to escape or to aim down, sight and do headshots. Corns. Gun handling feels a bit more jank. You are trying to reload and you end up grabbing everything but your spare magazine. There is also issues with the cooperation integration, the main one being your co-op partner, getting his ammo reset between levels. The engine VoIP was extremely quiet and not really usable. At some point through the campaign you lose your flashlight and then you are stuck playing in darkness. Why? Some very video game physics, a 50 call Desert Eagle shot doesn't go through a construction's hard Z for example. Horde mode is just one map. Neutral. The crafting system feels like an afterthrough. They could have done something a bit more evolved, more items, different weapons, a bow. Instead, you can craft four different but similar throwables and that's it. Give me a backpack and let me store more than one long weapon for God's sake. Pros. At its core, the shooting is still very satisfying, there is dismemberment and they even added melee. There is a dog, you can pet it and he helps you a lot. Descent, enough level variation. Story was ok, but I am based because I really like dogs. It's not afraid to throw a fuckton of zombies at you at once and it ruins surprisingly well. It's super fun to just knock them down. On the downside there is really no enemy variety. There are zombies, bigger zombies, and bigger zombies with more ammo. Zombies just walk straight towards you with the change up, being that some walk faster than others. For this one type of zombies you will need Buddy's help, unfortunately Buddy doesn't always follow you and sometimes fails by follow your comments. There were several other bugs I have experienced, but uh, none of them major. The after flashlight was bad, I really enjoyed the manual flashlight in the original game where the dark areas were actually tense and like in this game. Game is running on the Unity engine, on my RTX 3080 I was getting mostly 90 FPS, but there were drops starters when lots of zombies were on screen or explosions on fire. You can use smooth locomotion or teleportation, smooth or snap turning, you can play it seated or standing, headset oriented, moved or left, right controller directed. You have magnet hands, manual reloads, but closer to a gate than mill machine. Host system was very limiting. So overall, it was good. I think the story and the weapon variety saved this game. Plus, it didn't overstay it uh, welcome. I actually think the shooter campaign was a good thing. It kept the passing brisk and it minimized the negative aspects. Game also had climbing which was fine and puzzles that were too easy. The horde mode is bad so Rate 7 of 10. I bought this game from third party website and saved $10. And at that price, this game is good value in my opinion. 
at the end of the day, this game is better than most PSVR games that have come out recently.